Yep, welcome to the Touring with us once more. Um, I'm hoping to do a video um, in snippets like I usually do. So welcome to part number one of our en route tour from Havehill to Downham Market on the Havehill 13, starting with that first. Yet we are at Erring Horsam Way, that's what it's named, and of course we're going past the petrol garage here, which they do have petrol, I have to say, and you'll see a bus stop in just a minute, and they have been put there since, of course, about maybe a year or two. After all those years of coming through the Clements estate of Haverhill on the Haver Mother 13, I just wonder why this flag of West Ham has been put there. Does anybody know in the comments? If you do, let me know. Meanwhile, I'd like to say what a fantastic view you get from the top deck of bus from this view here, even in the overcast. But yeah, can you see Tesco's from there? Tesco's of Haverhill, obviously. Havel 13 to the Sainsbury's bus stop here to the left and of course there's another stop on the right hand side so we'll be heading up the A1307 very shortly. Continuing on our route on the A1307 I think it's called that. I should know this route because actually I've been on this route for many many years. Alright gang, well actually I'm beginning to sound like a Crusaders commentator on a bus but I don't think I can drive at the same time, I'd rather do the commentary actually. But anyway, this is on the A1307, the main road which links you from Haverhill to Cambridge. And we are going on a overcast day here, so we'll the reason why I've actually filmed this is because I thought I'd showcase it on a different type of day because you're always going to get something new each time. And to the left there was the Red Lion of Horse Heath. Or is it called the Lion? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I should know this route off my heart by now. But of course, you always tend to forget something there. Havel A1307 there. And Cambridge. A1307 and we're coming towards which we are on now the dual carriageway and the dual carriageway will eventually end up in a lovely village called Linton 
The reason why I say it's lovely because you get lovely signal of 4G. Because each time I go through Linton, the bars are full. In particular, on my iPhone SE that I've got in front of me. <laughs> yeah, hence what I'm using now. But yeah, that route to the left, which you just vaguely saw, is a difficult junction to get out of. And the reason why I say it's difficult to get out of is because, you know, you've got the dual carriageway and, of course, you have to be extra careful coming out of that junction. I've always known that for years. Hence, not using it anyway because I don't drive. But, yeah, we're still on the dual carriageway. You can see one van overtook the bus there. Obviously, the bus goes at a slower speed than a car that's quite obvious to most people but of course it will end up going to the Bartlow crossroads in just a little bit which we'll see now and there is another route which the camera just showed there to the right and that will head also towards Linton sometimes the buses are diverted in that direction if it's blocked in Linton so yeah, this is the Bartlow Crossroads. Take extra care when driving down here. And I think this route was quite a good route today. So yeah, we're gonna do a right turn now into Linton. And as you see, it is very villagey type, but yeah, it's the village of Linton as I say and of course you can see on the left hand side that's why I filmed all this so you can remember this in the future about the buildings here it's not exciting but of course it's nice to know about buildings uh, that have been in construction that's the wagon and the horses there I have not literally been to that pub for a while now I was going to go during lockdown, but of course, I didn't end up going in the end. But yeah, we're going through Linton. Looks better on screen, actually, than actually walking down these narrow sort of paths. I remember walking down here, which was my first sort of visit outside of Hayville, because you couldn't really get out of your own town for a little while. That's how horrible it was at the time of the, this uh, shutdown that we had for a couple of years. But yeah, this will take you through to the other side of Linton. There are lovely places to walk. We might even do a walk of that at some stage. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, there is a bus stop on the left-hand side, which you are just about to see there, and it's got a meter. There is a meter on the other side, but of course we didn't show that very well. And that was the Dog and Duck pub that you saw on the corner there. And uh, if you own this garden, looks fantastic, doesn't it? To say the least, especially from this view of the bus. And we are just about to come out of Linton here at the top of the road where the traffic lights go red normally. They'll be going green in a minute. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, this road here, which you can see directly in front of you, is where the X13 will go either in the morning or in the afternoon, unless the timetable changes that it's a bit more of X13s. But yes, there's been a lot of demand of that. But of course, it's not happened for quite some time. But yeah in particular at night there's no x13s it pretty much goes through the villages ah i was actually enjoying the show there i'm sure you was at home there but in this world we have to come to an end of part number one in particular but rest assured part or phase number two if you like will be coming on its way soon Thank you for joining us here on part number one of the En Route Tour from Havehill to Downham Market. Join us next time and don't forget to subscribe to us 
as in touring with us. You can actually follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, make sure that you do, because we do have people watching the videos and not yet subscribed to us. But if you have been a supporter of the channel of Touring With Us, a huge thank you for your support. And if you are watching and you are new, then be sure to subscribe to us soon, if you can. When we actually mean subscribe, we mean free of charge on our YouTube channel. Hello and welcome to En Route to Dunham Market, episode number two this time. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number two this time of En Route to Dunham Market. We have just left the village of Linton and of course in the background you can just vaguely see it it's not very good to see it but it is Linton College alongside the AstroTurf of of course the football pitches there we are now heading on the 81307 once more this time on the dual carriageway just past Linton and we're heading to a building which is a factory I believe it's Dalheads Foods unless it's changed but we are shortly going to be heading towards a village named Abington where the apparent signal of mobile phones is not good on 4G it may be good on 5G when it comes to that point but it's not here at this point here in 2022 but it is a lovely village to come across you can see some of the roads there and of course if you live in this village you will get a lovely beautiful sunset I have to say look at that sunset even on an overcast day you can see how villagey the roads are and we're coming across the building site looking like there's going to be new houses in Abington And if you're coming into the village of Abington, of course, to the right, there is a convenience store. And at the far corner, as you can see in the far right hand corner, is this lovely pub called the Three Tons. I've never literally been in there, but I think I've sat outside once before. And that's the cricket pitch there. Looking lovely, and it looks gorgeous in the summer I have to say now back onto the A1307 we are heading towards four Wentways just to the left there you just saw the road which is a little bit of a walk but you probably prefer to go by car there is a little chef somewhere unless I'm mistaken so I haven't been down that sort of route for a long time and we're coming up to the roundabout of the four went ways roundabout and you'll see a lovely view from the top and the lovely view of the road to the m11 and i would actually say take extra care coming across here even if you're traveling by car so that's the dual carriageway to the m11 off the lorries come around the roundabout distributing goods I seem to remember as we're on this dual carriageway here where cars can overtake on this side but I'm not sure if they can on the other side I believe they can't because it's one way sort of traffic there although saying that I think people do overtake there but anyway my main point is I remember it being resurfaced and uh, it caused a lot of havoc on buses glad it's now open and free for all the buses and cars that go by we are now heading up the hill of Wanderbury Hill which is the 
kind of dual carriageway, but of course you can't overtake up here. But there is a slip road which you just saw there, which takes you onto the Wanderbury Forest. But I believe Wanderbury itself is quite eerie and eerie with signal as well. But we have a fantastic view from the top here. I don't think the camera is showing it very well, but of course, maybe next time I'll show it properly. You can see vaguely a fantastic view as we head into Cambridge. landed on Hills Road heading towards the city centre of Cambridge. Notably, we're coming over the Hills Road Bridge. Well, it's not a great view there, but of course, the train station is a lot better view from the top deck of bus. So I've arrived in Cambridge in good time here. What a picture it is so far. It's like painting a picture here if you're very artistic. But anyway, I'm going to head across the shortcut way to the railway station. Let's take a look as you're getting bonus pictures today. The, the way that you can come from that way. Ah, oh, isn't this so annoying when we have to do this yet again? Unfortunately, we have come to the end of the episode number two this time, but I do sincerely hope you have enjoyed it. And of course, what happens next is the question that we're gonna ask you lot out there. And don't forget, before you give us an answer, make sure you hit that subscribe button for touring with us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. And best of all, all at no cost.